Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video about my skincare routine. It's a lot of stuff, but bear with me because I'm going to show you guys a lot of good products. And first off, before I say anything, I'm sorry about my little red nose. It is quite warm in my room right now. So I will start off with step one. I take off my eye makeup before I do anything, just in case I get any like smudges out here and then I can just go back in. And I use the Spectrum Extra Virgin Organic and Unrefined Coconut Oil. They sell it in much smaller containers than this. You don't have to cart this around. And I actually bought just a little tiny glass container and keep it at my boyfriend's house and I use it for traveling. So it's probably a lot easier to keep it in that container than the giant container I have. I use coconut oil to take off my eye makeup, mainly for my waterproof mascara because since it is an oil, it breaks down the mascara. And usually I just get some on my finger. If it's cold, the coconut oil is solidified, so I just let my finger sit in there for a little while. The heat of my finger warms it up and I can get some of the product. And I just rub it back and forth. You can always swipe in a downward motion. To apply it to my eyelashes, I get it you know, over the eyelid in the crease and up onto my eyebrow because I do fill in my eyebrows. And then I just take a tissue and I wipe, do that same downwards wiping motion. I wipe all over, get my eyebrow. And then I usually do this about three times, but I don't mind because this is really the only product that I have found that works really well for me and also doesn't irritate my skin. A lot of eye makeup removers, you know, ones from Clinique, ones from very natural brands, um, ones that are just really, really supposed to work, although I haven't tried Bioderma yet, but I'll keep that in mind. They all make me very red in this area, and I get very inflamed, and it burns, and it hurts, and it's just not fun. And this is pretty much the only one that I've found that my skin has pretty much no reaction to it, and so I love it a lot. Step two. I always wipe my makeup off before I wash my face just because I feel like I want my cleanser and my scrub to really work at my skin and not have to work at my makeup. So I use the Pacifica Purify Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. And I really, really like these. A lot of cleansing wipes kind of irritate my skin. I do have very sensitive skin. And I find that a lot of times even just the texture of the wipe will irritate my skin. And these ones are amazing. They almost have like a cottonelle wet wipe texture to them to where they're almost fabric. And I really, really like that. They also have papaya enzyme in them, which is a non-abrasive exfoliant. So it's really going to work hard to get rid of all of your makeup. These have no parabens in them, no silicones in them no like artificial ingredients or artificial scent. They're vegan, cruelty free, they have no sulfates, which I think I already said. Sulfates, petroleum, parabens, sodium lauryl sulfate, or phthalates, which I really like and I really look for natural skincare um, just because I feel like it's going to be the best for my skin. After I take off all my makeup, and this is right before I shower, I usually take my coconut oil again and take a good healthy layer and spread it across my skin. I do this coconut oil mask once a week for about 10 minutes. And once I get in the shower, I wash my hair first so that the steam has time to settle into my skin and let the coconut oil really moisturize my skin and really get down deep in there. Then comes in step four. I use the Giovanni Detox System Purifying Facial Scrub. This stuff has activated charcoal in it, which is really going to help draw out any impurities in your skin. And also it has volcanic ash, which is really good at just kind of treating it and once again getting out impurities in your skin, as well as antioxidant fruit, acai, and goji berry. And this helps give it a really nice scent. It is very fruity, but it's more of like the tart fruit. I really like the smell of this stuff. And I'm gonna do a little demonstration for you. As you can see, it just stands straight up. It's very, very, very thick stuff. The exfoliant in this is almost like a sand. It's very fine textured and it's very gentle. So I can use it on the more sensitive areas of my face, like my cheeks and you know, for some reason my temples are always very sensitive. And on my neck, I always exfoliate my neck as well. But it's still abrasive enough to really 
get all the dead skin off. I get a lot, you know, in the creases of my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, really in my T-zone, I get very dry and I get dry patches. And that stuff just gets in there. It really works for my skin and I absolutely love it. And once again, this is formulated with no, you know, parabens, phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfate or laureth sulfates. A lot of times they get you with the laureth sulfates. All vegetarian ingredients, a bunch of these ingredients are USDA certified organic, which I really like as well, and the no animal testing. There is no animal testing on any of these products. Step five. I use the Acure Fragrance Free Sensitive Facial Cleanser. And this is made for dry and sensitive skin. And I really, really like this stuff because it comes out kind of like a creamy cleanser. Oh. It's, it's fragrance free, but smells very nice. And a lot of times what I've found with cream cleansers, it is it literally just feels like putting moisturizer on my face, like washing my face with moisturizer. And I really don't like that. But this suds up, which I like. I like things that suds. And, you know, it's doing this without any sodium lauryl sulfates, any of the gross stuff like that, which I really appreciate because it's not good for your skin. This also features probiotics, which I'm kind of intrigued by. I want to do more research and I'm wondering if it's similar to kind of like the probiotics that you put into your body or it helps with the friendly flora and the good bacteria that you have in your body. And I'm wondering if it does that with the skincare. If you know it takes the friendly bacteria that's on your face and instead of stripping it, uses it to help fight the bad bacteria. And it also has argan oil, which everybody knows is like the miracle product. Everybody loves argan oil. And it makes my skin feel so, so, so soft. And this also has pumpkin seed oil, which again is really going to moisturize the skin and soothe the skin. And it has omega fatty acids, which you get in fish oils or if you eat a lot of fish, which is really just going to keep your skin very moisturized and very plumped up. And I will read the nice blurb that's on here that talks about all the nice stuff. It is vegan, sulfate-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, peg-free, petroleum-free, phthalate-free, silicone-free, gluten-free, won't clog pores, so it's non-comedogenic, and it's 100% biodegradable. A fair amount of these ingredients are organic, and they're all fair trade certified. Step six. After I get out of the shower, I use a toner, and I use the Michael Todd Blue-Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. And this stuff is so nice. I feel like a lot of times when using a toner, it just feels like I am putting alcohol on my face or putting witch hazel on my face and it doesn't really feel like I'm doing anything else. So there's no reason for me to be spending all this money on toner when I can just pick up some witch hazel for like seven bucks at the store. But this stuff is really nice. It makes my skin feel very fresh and very cleansed. But at the same time, it makes it feel moisturized. And with a lot of toners, it just makes my skin feel stripped. And that's an awful feeling if you have dry skin. It is anti-inflammatory and antibacterial, as it said in the title. So it will help with any sort of acne issues that you may have. It aids in the treatment and prevention of acne, which I really like. Once again, this is a great product. You know, a lot of the ingredients are organic. There's no parabens, no phthalates, no silicones, no nothing in this. And I really like it. I really like Michael Todd Organics. I really like the line. They're 97% organic, certified vegan. Well, this one at least is 97% organic and certified vegan. That's good too. Step seven. We're nearing the end, guys. I use the Acure Radical Resurfacing Cream. It comes in this little bottle. I like to keep the box because it has some information on it. So I forgot to add this part in, guys, but what it says on the box is about Acure's skin immune technology. Your skin is an integral part of your immune system. Skin immune complex moisturizes skin against environmental stresses to help your own skin cell defensive systems. But this is going to help with any sort of hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, photo damage, blotchiness, acne. and. This has lemon probiotic in it and 1% chlorella growth factor. This is another ingredient that I have to do my research on is chlorella. I know it's really good for your body. It's one of those greens that everybody is raving about and putting in their smoothies and getting very excited about. So I'm very interested to know what it does for the skin. You do kind of smell the chlorella a little bit and it kind of has that 
green, earthy, icky smell. I just kind of like imagine, you know, in a juicer where you have like that rope that comes out with all like the fibers from everything. I just imagine it smelling like that. <laughs> like that's how that rope thing smells. But the only time I smell it is when I put it right under my nose because I have redness down there and that's it and it doesn't even really stay if I put it anywhere else on my face I don't smell it at all so it's a very very mild chlorella scent but I feel like that's really helping with my acne scarring and since I have such pale sensitive skin ugh, my skin scars like crazy so I'm really liking that product and now step eight the last step the final step in my skincare routine my very long exhaustive skincare routine I use the Neem and Shea Butter Skin Recovery Face Cream from Alafia. I really like Alafia. Once again, they're one of those brands that is certified fair trade, and they always donate to West Africa through fair trade and community empowerment projects. The creator of Alafia is actually from West Africa. And I like that, you know, once again, it's kind of like a peace of mind that the product that I'm spending my money on is going towards something good and not towards something kind of evil. This stuff is so great though. The shea butter is very soothing on the skin and the neem is going to help restore your skin and kind of draw out the impurities and put back that luminosity and put back, you know, that glow of healthy, happy skin. And this stuff comes out pretty thick, but then it spreads on like a dream. It's so smooth and so soft and it sinks into the skin relatively quickly. I'd say within five minutes, it's in the skin. And I feel like a lot of moisturizers that are formulated for dry skin, this is formulated for ultra dry or acne prone skin, don't actually go into my skin. They just feel like a mask instead of something that's actually going to go into my skin and moisturize my skin. And I like that it settles very easily and that it doesn't feel like I'm putting on some gross, sticky, icky thing. On top of all my skincare, I drink a lot of water. That is one thing that I can say really, really works. I notice a difference in my skin when I skimp on drinking water or when I start drinking, you know, even juice even juices, you know, when I'm not drinking enough water, my skin pays for it. And you're supposed to drink half your weight in ounces every day to keep your body hydrated. And that's really one of the best pieces of advice that I can give anybody is just drink a ton of water. Try to keep your diet as clean as possible. I mean, I still eat sugar. I still go to the bars and I still have drinks. But, you know, Greasy food is just going to wreck your skin. Um, eating a lot of toxic food, you know, food where the ingredients aren't really that great for you, they're going to come through in your skin. Those bad ingredients are going to show through in your skin. So as much as I feel like all of these products are helping my skin, I feel like really water, eating healthy, and washing your makeup off every night is really going to help your skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hopefully I can get it to go back down. Oh, that's good enough. Is that step five? We got one. No. Two. Yeah. Did just face? <laughs> it's just dirty people. Mm -hmm.